See that? There's my pool. It's covered. It's been snow it snowed yesterday. It's chilly. But here's my deck. See this? And there's no rail on it. There's no rail. And basically what I gotta do is I gotta take up every single one of these boards here. All these boards gotta come up. I gotta put them off to the side on some sawhorses. And I gotta completely take the whole deck apart. A lot of work. And then on the sides here, I'm gonna put in a rail system. Oh, it's gonna be really nice. It's Monday, the next week. And you can see I'm making some progress on the deck. I'm just picking away at it slowly, taking my time. Um, you know, not knocking myself out. I got plenty of time. The middle of April. I want to have all this done by the time I open up the pool and that's going to be what? End of May. So I got plenty of time to do this right, make it look good. See that? Oh yeah. A little after 2. Well, actually it's 12.35 and within moments I'm going to have this thing completely tore apart. I don't know whether you can even see it says 12.35 or not, but in a little bit I'm going to have this completely wrecked and I'll show you my technique for doing this. It's real simple. You just grab you know, a hunk of 2x6 and you get it up underneath there. Step on the board. Oh, two of them at a time. See how easy that is? Okay, here we are roughly an hour later. And you can see that it's it's going pretty good. I probably could have had this done in an hour, but I've been backing out the nails and stocking the lumber. And I had a couple of phone calls and stuff like that that I had to get to. But this is getting tore up, man. I'm tearing this shit up, and it's about time. You know, and down to the rafters, awesome. these little boards that you see here, that's just what I was standing on. And then this final board here, well, a couple of those joists are actually nailed to that. And that's, you know, something I'm going to take care of in the next step. But you can see, here it is, man. Down to nothing. So you can see, back in the old days when this was put together, they used a lot of joist hangers and they did double joists, like this board here. See this one? That's a double. There's another doubler over there. There's a double. There's a double. And I guess they're sitting on top of the posts. And that was their idea of a beam. Um, this isn't the way I would have built it. But I'm going to just have to work with what I got here. And um, there's my pile of wood. More wood. More wood. And then see all this here? More wood. Look at all that wood. Some of it's going to be cut up and reused, and some of it's going to end up being thrown out. But um, hopefully I can use as much of this wood as I can. Even the, even some of the more seriously checked stuff. Checking meaning all these, this wood grain is going right through the wood now. And it's, I mean, this, is, this wood's been around since 88. That's when the original deck was built. So, you know, wood starts to go after a while, even pressure treat it. It's got a 20-year warranty or something like that, or a lifetime warranty, which I've always considered to be one of the stupidest warranties ever. So this is my pile, up close and personal. Big old pile of wood. A lot of this stuff, like all the stuff with the screws in it, that's what I'm going to re redo the deck with. You know, that's going to be the base. Man, a lot of those boards look like they're two foot on center. I don't know who does anything like that. That's just... I don't like that at all. I might have to actually add a board. I took these two by sixes 
and I cut an inch and a half notch out of them by eight inches long and I set them in there and then I notched around them with the deck boards okay there I got a long board here I got to cut that got to cut that tip off it but basically I got it done you can see there's my sawhorse there's all the wood there's just about nothing left I mean there was a massive pile it was stacked up all up underneath the sawhorses there and some of it was on the saw I tore apart the old deck and I reused the lumber okay to lay the deck now a few years ago we got a new pool because our old pool rotted out and at that point the pool was I don't know probably about 25 years old it was steel um, I'm not sure if it was galvanized my brain doesn't serve me at this point but at any rate it rotted out and we bought a new pool and the guys came and installed the pool and they installed it about six to eight inches away from the old deck okay so by the time we got the pool filled up and I got the dirt taken care of because um, it was dirt all over the place and I had to rake it out and grade it and all that stuff but um it was super hot it was time to go swimming we had, we had to get in this pool I wanted to get in the pool so I went up to Home Depot and I bought a bunch of lumber and I laid it over the old deck and I extended it six to eight inches here and there so it would be up to the pool and within by the, by the end of the summer the boards on the end here were all curling up because they weren't screwed down to nothing they weren't anchored to anything so you know I sat and looked at that and I was just very you know disappointed in myself and in the fact that you know that's the way it was gonna look so I've been telling my wife and I've been telling myself and I've been telling people for a while now I'm gonna rip that deck apart I'm gonna rebuild it and I'm gonna put a rail on it this time because there was never a rail and yeah 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 keep talking keep talking so a year went by two years went by um, I'm not even sure it could have been about four years and what I did is I started pulling the deck apart and I got the videos to prove that then I pulled the deck apart and I pulled it pulled everything apart and I came up with the idea that I was gonna run the boards the way you see them because the, the boards were running this way I decided to run them this way so to do that I needed to put these where is it well it's, there you go I put these um, what would be the word I want to use well I don't know I used them basically as joists over top of the other joists okay and it brought the deck up the inch and a half and then I screwed down the old decking that was on top and the decking that was underneath instead of throwing it out and cutting it up into little pieces for the garbage man I decided to cut them boards and use them as my posts for my new rail and there you go okay I notched them in uh, two by sixes took an inch and a half um, by an inch and a half cut out of each one and I notched them in and now you can see that sucker is that is solid all right and then I did the same thing over there of course put a nice cap on it and I had a couple of ideas about how I wanted to do this I had it you know I was playing around with it how it how, how did I want to do it what did I want to use and I finally came up with the idea to just make this as solid as could be okay and